This is Twit. Many people, uh, quite a few more than initially I thought were going to be impacted, were impacted by a password reset uh, across Apple devices. I now we talked about this on on Ask the Tech Guys over the weekend, but essentially a number of people reported having their Apple ID password reset where when they tried to log into their devices, they were presented with uh, the need to change their password. And Apple has continued to refrain from explaining what that situation is all about, what's going on, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so we don't really know what exactly happened, but you may have been presented with this need to change your password. And for the people who did, if they had generated um, app-specific passwords, those also had to be regenerated, which is really frustrating and would potentially take a long time. Um, I know I get annoyed by having to do new app specific passwords, uh, but it happens and you got to do what you got to do. And so if you were uh, presented with this issue, it's okay. Uh, you'll get through it. But Josh has written in in response to this and says, hello. I'm not sure if this is possible, but I was wondering with the Apple reset password attacks going on, if it was possible to create a shortcut or automation that would automatically decline the password reset request to prevent from accidentally clicking accept. And now I, I want to mention too that in this case, Josh is talking about something that we talked about, I think a couple of episodes ago on Ask the Tech Guys, where there's a new uh, I think it was Krebs on security who reported about this. Uh, oh, it was on Tech News Weekly that I talked about this. But um, it's a, a new kind of attack vector where somebody tries to gain access to your account by continually spamming your phone, asking for you to reset the password. And so the prompt comes up and 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 up over and over again in the hopes that you'll accidentally say yes at which point, because you've just been uh, prompted that many times, you're aware that something's happening. Those bad actors, as they're called, reach out to you pretending to be Apple and say, hi, your account is currently under attack. We want to fix this in order to verify that you are you and not the attacker. Please give us the code that just popped up on your device. Of course, if they have access to that code, they can use that code to then gain access to your account because they're not actually Apple support. They're the bad actors. So very bad. And then also accidentally clicking except when you mean to click decline over or tap decline over and over and over again uh, is something to you know be worried about. So I believe that's back called to the MFA fatigue. There you go. MFA, MFA fatigue. fatigue. Uh, and so this is um, this is the rest of, of what the person is asking. Josh says, I'm a Club Twit member and enjoy numerous podcasts on Twit. Thank you for your support. Um, and then also, Josh has included uh, a photo for the pet tax. Uh, Josh says, this is my dog, Leo. He is a Havanese. He'll be four years old in June. Uh, just to note, I did not name him. He was named by his previous owner. Thanks, Josh. So yes, Josh did not name all oh, little Leo after Leo. I Leo already had a name. So Look cute. at the little curious face. Oh my goodness. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Uh, so here is, uh, again, the question. Is it possible to create a shortcut or automation that would automatically decline password reset requests to prevent from accidentally clicking accept? Can you automate screen taps, Rosemary? So technically, you can actually automate screen taps. And this is something that every so often you'll see somebody going around doing like a, a video on social media, like, oh my gosh, you didn't know this feature was built into your iPhone. Nobody knew this. And it's an accessibility feature where um, under the settings uh, on your phone, if you go under accessibility, um, then there is the options under touch. And I've forgotten exactly where this is. Um, I believe it's under uh, assistive touch. There we go. You can create a new gesture. Um, and if you knew exactly where the button was, you would be able to, you know, record that and, you know, uh, call it something. Uh, so I'm just going to call my new gesture cancel. And now I have a custom gesture, which you can trigger 
through a number of things like the action button on your iPhone 15 Pro. Um, you can trigger it, um, you know, through um, various things. But the problem with this is, uh, A, you've got to set it up um, and B, it's not necessarily going to be 100% reliable. And if you trigger it when something else pops up on your screen, that's going to be a problem. Mm. So what I would recommend for folks, um, apart from the obvious, if somebody is asking for the uh, code to log into your Apple ID, um, no. The, the answer to this question is no. There, there is no other answer to that question. Apple don't need it. Uh, Apple will not want it. Apple want you to like de-authenticate from devices when they uh, start looking at them. If they like have to take it behind the genius bar or something, they're not going to want that. But the other thing I would recommend doing is there are some uh, security settings, um, which I, I'm just going to um, quickly uh, go into my uh, face ID settings, where you can enable things like stolen device protection. Um, so under settings, face ID and passcode or touch ID and passcode, if you've got an older device that's running the, the newer iOS, um, then uh, under stolen device protection, you can enable this uh, always. So it means that um, a delay is going to be required to change security settings, which also affects things like changing passwords. And that is honestly what I would recommend here. Um, automation sounds great. Um, it's going to unfortunately most likely end up in a, a world of problems for you, sadly, because you'll you'll end up like trying to log in uh, on your your Mac, which, you know, you rebooted it and it's installed an update and it wants to reauthenticate with your Apple ID. And then every every request is being canceled on all of your other devices or something like that. It, it gets messy quite quickly. Um, so I would recommend turn on stolen device protection. Remember, if somebody wants uh, the code from uh, Apple over, uh, you know, from anything that's not, you know, the Apple authentication boxes that pop up uh, on your devices, then the, the answer is no. Um, and uh, yeah, try and stick to it that way. They've got some good devices, uh, good guides for stolen uh, uh, device protection um, and um, security settings in general on the Apple support website, which we can link to. But yeah, just try try not to uh, go go too nuts on this and try not to panic as well. Hey, if you liked that clip, well, there's so much more to get by joining Club Twit. You can watch all of iOS Today, where we cover all things iOS, tvOS, HomePodOS, watchOS, and so much more. It's all the apps, all the tips and tricks, and everything with Rosemary Orchard and me, Micah Sargent. Join Club Twit at twit.tv slash club twit to see all of iOS Today.